So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenge for week seven. If you guys don't know, I usually go through the challenges and Eververse and whatever event is going on. Currently, there is no event going on. So we're just going to be looking at the seasonal challenges and what Eververse is selling for this week. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, let's get into it. So more than a week seven, a uh, complete week or more than a week. You know, actually, I'm not wrong. Complete week seven of more than a weapon. Defeat Hive and Fallen bosses anywhere in the system. Bonus progress for defeating them in highest battlegrounds and the exotic mission operate operation seraph shield not too hard um this might take you a while unless you're doing the operation seraph shield because i know there's a bunch of hive and fallen stuff in there so this one shouldn't take you long especially if you do the weekly story plus the operation seraph shield so this one shouldn't be too hard highest battleground in highest battleground plays complete heist and defeat combatants with season of the seraph or Ikelos weapons this one is not hard at all. It's just you have to rack up 35 highest battlegrounds, which is, I don't know. For me, it's not that bad considering the season's event or activity is not that bad. Like, I actually, I don't mind this season's at all. I know some of people are bitching about it, but we've had worse. That's definitely not a good thing to say because it could be worse is not a good praise. But at the same time, again, it could be so much worse. We could be looking at like <sighs> season of... Uh, what's it called season of the worthies that one was truly fucking terrible so for me this is not that bad season seasonal shaping to earn levels with shaped seasonal or icolos weapons i am i'm really slow on this because i do have an icolos smg that i got i need to like hurry up and make it so that way i can get some levels on it uh legendary heist complete a heist battleground on legend difficulty this one's gonna be annoying although my clan's probably gonna be running this weekly hopefully fuck i hope if not i'll probably just uh, ask my clan to help me out with this one but you can also just go to lfg stuff and do it there uh, down to size defeat targets with trace rifles glaives and linear fusion rifles in gambit bonus progress for defeating invading guardians <clears throat> so this one might be a little rough uh i would pro fuck this is gonna be rough because trace rifle and glaives are usually in the same column uh, linear fusion rifles you can go for heavies or you can do um i will probably for linears i'll probably do a special linear just because using a heavy linear just kind of seems dumb to me um the trace rifle is going to be super easy glaive should be easy if they're counting the melee hits as well so this one's going to be annoying for a lot of people including myself but definitely doable uh fleeing glory complete crucible matches in competitive playlist earn bonus progress for wins this one uh competitive isn't as annoying as it used to be but it also is worse than it used to be i don't know it's really hard to explain like i can do crucible or i can do competitive matches now without like being like oh but i also get the feeling of like well if it's fucking riff then i'm gonna feel that way so i don't know this one might be rough for a few people and then grandmaster complete any strike on grandmaster this one uh depending on what what strike it is it might be annoying but not too much not, nothing too crazy i mean i still haven't done a lot of these uh, i say that almost all of these are done but like this one for sure i took this week off uh this week i most likely will complete some of these but i will most likely complete the backstock that i haven't completed yet and most of them are just like activity stuff like cosmodrome moon, moon um oh i did the europa one already so it's mostly just stuff that i i've been kind of like bored not to do but I will most likely complete this because a a lot of these are bright dust so speaking of bright this is actually go to the eververse to show you something cool so i already got it the linear new year set this is whatever's what i'm speaking about is right here there should be uh like a red envelope looking thing you basically get free bright dust with it you get 880 which is not bad i think they're giving some out next week as well uh, if it's 880, that's actually pretty decent. That's like what, 1600 something or actually 17 maybe, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can definitely buy stuff with 1600, uh, free bright. This is super dope as well, but, um, yeah, I really don't have anything negative to say about it. I mean, free, free bright dust, uh, I'll take it. It is like, I think a week's worth of, uh, bounties. Uh, including the weekly stuff if i remember correctly a little bit more a little bit under either either way it's pretty cool i guess 
you have a new shader sinking feeling this shader is pretty cool um also ignore this armor set i may or may not make, be making this for the stupid precious scars uh yeah it's a really cool shader i know it looks terrible on this but i promise you it's actually really really cool um subjugator entrance i think this is from the raid too yeah it is it's pretty cool we have the this ship right here no no this isn't that ship this is from season of the chosen yeah that's what i thought yeah it's pretty cool we have uh, origami crane which i didn't buy that i got that um for the stuff at the bottom we have tyrant's vision for uh, eyes of tomorrow which i'm not a fan of it i'm gonna be honest with you guys uh we have the two no this is from season of the chosen this one's not even the new one either because this is from the 30th anniversary so none of the new ones man i'm surprised we have this much uh like new year stuff surprised uh we have lamp lamp lampian shell we have jubilant decree oh mm. i don't know why this feels racist <laughs> we have festival sparks which i don't really care for for shaders okay this is where it gets really cool for shaders we have whispered sheen this is legitimately one of my favorite shaders in the game so much so that i actually made a video on this you guys can check it out right here it is really cool i go over like all of the colors that you'll see in this shader uh off colors main color stuff like that we go through glows as well so if you guys are interested check that video out uh we have wayfarer guys which is a really gross green <clears throat> we have butterbark if you guys want to have another piece that has wooden texture to it then pick this one up uh you guys can see from this leg right here that's just like pure wood which is pretty cool uh, unfortunately it has yellow on it which is not like i don't like yellow like at all as a color so for me i'm immediately not gonna like that and then vibrant beach which is also another yellow and i again i don't like i don't like this combination at all so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below i am uh working on things obviously i am working on the exotic videos uh i can say this because i'm gonna post this video like right now so i'm working on some of the exotic uh exotic pieces that people have asked for and it is pretty tiring i'm gonna be honest with you guys because um a lot of the stuff that i'm working on is exotics that are just super fucking annoying to deal with specifically like pre precious scars um ashen wake stuff like that where it's just like mm, at least at least fucking precious scars has an ornament but still it's really annoying so let me know what you guys think i will be running the raid day one as well i don't know if i'm gonna stream it just because last time i tried that uh my my game could not handle it but i'm rambling now be safe and i'll see you guys later